Right you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at creating our own restore point with one click so let me just show you how we can do that in this video now we're running windows 10 here so first make sure that system restore is running by typing restore in the search box and we can make sure that it is turned on and it is ready to uh, take restore points Now this is a really nifty little trick if you want to uh, create restore points with just one click and it's a great way of keeping a backup in case something goes wrong so now right click on the desktop and go to new and shortcut once we open up the shortcut here we need to type in our location of the item so you need to put this big long uh, command in there and I'm going to put that in the video description for you so just paste that into the box there and then from there we can go next okay now this is the actual command here I'll just quickly show you I've just copied it from this notepad here okay now you can call it pretty much what you like it's called uh, create restore point but you can name it wherever you like in there I've just left it like that so go next now we need to give it a name I'll call it create restore point and this will be the name of the file that's going to be on my desktop and as you can see there you can call yours whatever you like I'm going to click finish here and you should now see a command prompt uh, icon on your desktop now you can leave it like that you don't need to change the icon uh, but I like to uh, change the icon so let's go ahead and uh, right click on here now if you try to run this without administrator you will get uh, access denied so right click on this and go properties and we'll set this up so it works perfectly so now we've got the uh, properties of this file open we need to go down to where it says uh, change icon uh, just down the bottom there in the middle of those three uh, buttons there so just click on change icon here and uh, this will open up another little box here now you can either uh, type the path in but I'm just going to browse for it because it's a lot easier and uh, we're in system 32 here as you can see so we're just going to browse for the system restore uh, app here and this will give us the there it is there just will give us the icon you can see it there rst r u i so now we can click on that icon and click ok you can see it's now changed the icon it will change it on the desktop soon as we uh, click ok so click advanced here and run as administrator that means it would always run as administrator when we click on it and now the icon has changed as you can see here so if we click on this now and uh it will then run so let's just click on this and there we go it will then start to create that restore point for us and this is pretty quick and easy to do and it's very handy if you are going to be installing something like a program drivers or something like that and you just want to create a little safety net for yourself you can go ahead and do that and it's created that no problems at all so let's go and take a look at what it's done in the system restore so I'm going to type restore here go back into there click on create restore point it doesn't really matter it takes you to the same place and uh, once we're inside here I can go up to where it says system restore this will open this up go next and then that will show us the system restore is there so there you go that's pretty much it for this video that's uh, now completed this video has been brought to you by iSkySoft.com Choose the best video compression and win free gift cards. Rules do apply. Check link in video description for more details. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little tip there. It's a really useful little tip to use on your computer. I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. now. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.